Today on Nate's Chop Shop, we're going to start restoring an antique off-road go-kart. So I moved back here from Florida, oh, probably over a year ago. And somewhere close to a year ago, I stopped by a friend's house to visit a little bit. And he knows that I fool these go-karts and stuff. And he told me, he said, hey, I've got an old go-kart out in the back field. It's got ATV back tires on it. Do you want it? I said, yeah. So he told me I could have it. And we finally got together and went and got this thing. And it is, it appears to be a Manco Dingo, but it's got a, a Sears and Roebuck tag on it, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research and figure out exactly what I've got. But it really reminds me of one that we had when I was a kid. Uh, I got to ride it all of about 20 feet before the belt shredded, and my dad didn't know where to get a torque converter belt, so it just sat until we drug home a 125 dirt bike, and I started transplanting the engine on it. Well, everybody thought it was pretty funny, this 12-year-old kid putting a dirt bike motor on one of these, until it became obvious that I was actually gonna make it work. Then my dad and the neighbor shot the motor full of holes to keep me from killing myself. And ever since, I've just kinda wanted one of these. And then I stumbled across this one, of course, for free, which is definitely in my price range. And not only did I get this thing, which I mean, it needs some stuff, but he gave me this one too. And it's got uh, front tires and knuckles and stuff on it that I can use. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do because this thing has has been obviously welded here. And I think the, the C area here is bigger than it is on this one. So I'm not sure if I'm just going to change the spindles off of this one and put them on here, like actually cut the C's off and just weld them on. If I'm going to try to repair this because I'd like for it to look pretty good. Uh, first step is going to be tear it all down and take it and have it sandblasted and paint it and then start going back together with it. And you can hear the dogs mad at me because I put her in the backyard. Uh, she was out front out here with me, but we've got a highway that runs by the house, so I couldn't keep an eye on her. So I put her in the backyard and she's pissed, but she'll get over it. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to start tearing this thing down. Okay, so we got it all ripped apart. See, stripped down to the bare frame. I couldn't get anything done with the steering column. It's locked solid. We'll see if that maybe frees up when they sandblast it. But we've got the roll cage completely off and torn down. I've got to break the tires down, get the wheel sandblasted. Got the axle out, the bearings are seized. Uh, everything's pretty crusty and rusty. I'm sure it's not much good. Steering wheel's ruined. Uh, motor's locked up. Even the throttle was locked up, but I messed with it and got it. It broke loose on me, so I couldn't really show you that. But anyway, next step is I'll drop it off at the sandblaster tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow's Monday, Christmas is Wednesday, so I don't expect it to happen real fast. But I'll probably go ahead and pull these front wheels off of this one also because I'll want to get them sandblasted because I'm going to use them on this and I want to make them about the same color, the right color. You know, this was black and gold because when I 
pulled the padding off on the armrest. I was reminded, it's been years since we had ours. I mean, I was a kid, I'm 44 now. I was 12 then, but this was black with a gold pen stripe and it had gold wheels on it. So I'm gonna put it back where it looks basically stock. And my plan is to take one of my open motors and put on it with a torque converter uh, to hopefully make it pretty entertaining. Also, something else pretty interesting, I got the motor off and you can get a, a pretty decent look at it, but it's got the Sears and Robot tag back here. So I need to do a little bit of research and figure out exactly what I've got, but it doesn't matter because what I have is a go-kart. And it's a go-kart just like I had when I was a kid. So I'm gonna do this thing up, I'm gonna rip the guts out of it, have some fun with it. And We'll take it from there. But anyway, I'll pick back up on this when I get my stuff back from the sandblaster and we're ready to paint it. Thanks for watching.